I was nine years old when I had my first seizure. My dad, my brother, and I were staying up late playing Risk, and through the windows we saw、uh, strobe lights. We all made our way to the front porch, and there was a jeep pulled over, and a man was getting tested for a DUI. I remember him walking the line, and the next thing I remember is being in my dad's arms, pulling up to the ER. Five months after my first seizure, we found ourselves back at the hospital in November of 2003. After my second seizure, and because I had then had multiple seizures, we were given the diagnosis of epilepsy. In more recent years, we found a pattern with increased seizure activity that is resembling of catamenial, ep- catamenial epilepsy. So I've kind of had a, a journey with epilepsy diagnosis throughout、um, 18 years. As Janine's example shows, her epilepsy started relatively benign and got worse and worse over years. So if we could interrupt this process and stop epilepsy from becoming worse and refractory, that would make a huge difference for those affected by epilepsy. Refractory epilepsy is any form of epilepsy that cannot be treated with any of the available anti-epileptic medications, and that's a huge problem because it affects around 35% of all individuals with epilepsy, and then translates to over 20 million persons worldwide. My research focuses on how the brain itself controls seizures and how the brain、uh, controls the development and progression of epilepsy.、And、the key molecule implicated in both processes is the brain's own seizure terminator, adenosine. We found that reduced adenosine increases the likelihood for seizures, but also drives the process that turns. Turns a healthy brain into an epileptic brain, and finally to disease progression into refractory epilepsy. We've tried just about every medication to date. They all cause general malaise, fatigue, dizziness. Eventually, the amount of medication I was on, the side effects from that, impacted my quality of life worse than the seizures themselves. We hope to develop a disease-modifying therapy that would transform the treatment options for those affected by epilepsy, and we do this by blocking the enzyme adenosine kinase,、uh, which is the major adenosine-removing enzyme. I'm very grateful for funding through Cure Epilepsy, which、uh, allowed us to perform a pilot study in mice, where we were able to show that this short-term treatment alone. Prevented epilepsy in over 50% of all test animals. I was a horseback rider prior to epilepsy. It was an Olympic dream of mine. Once epilepsy entered my life, it became equine therapy. Thanks to a fantastic support team, I am still able to ride. To continue to treat ride, I wear a the highest、uh, rated safety helmet and easy release stirrups. But I also wear an inflatable vest. This vest has an air cartridge in it that connects to my saddle. So when I come off the saddle in less than 0.9 seconds, it inflates and it protects my neck, my vital organs, and my back. While I'm very fortunate to be able to still horseback ride, it's a fight against epilepsy to get in the saddle. So now I fight to ride, and I ride for a cure through an event that takes place every November called Dressage for a Cause. Our current research is a direct continuation of the prior cure epilepsy funded work. So we now have our own drug discovery program, and our goal is to identify novel adenosine kinase inhibitors、uh, that effectively prevent epilepsy. The biggest advantage of this approach is that we can use this therapy only transiently. Which basically means that a few weeks of treatment、uh, is enough to prevent epilepsy in its progression, and this would obviously alleviate、uh, side effects and long-term treatment. It's important for me to support cure epilepsy in its research because I started out as a straight-A student with dreams of becoming a doctor and going to the Olympics. I was diagnosed with epilepsy, a word I had never heard before, and my A's went to F's. 
I became the patient instead of the doctor, and it is a struggle for me to get to the barn. My hope for the future of epilepsy research is that it gets the funding it deserves so we can find a cure.